What does it really take to help a million people? To come up with a vehicle that is adequately different to matter. I, along with Nia Armar and Robin Allen, founded the Vehicle Design Summit 2006. One of the early goals was to take an amorphous topic, like global warming, and to try and turn it into a really tangible, tractable problem. So we picked transportation because it contributes about 20 to 30 percent of global carbon emissions. We started with about 50 people. We built four little prototypes the first eight weeks. We wanted them to go 200 miles per gallon or greater, even though they were using different fuels like biofuels or electricity or fuel cell. In 2009, we designed the Vision 100 with the Indian market in mind. Collectively, that very large group came up with a single vehicle design. Archimedes. Archimedes was the first time we took a big breath in the project and said, OK, where are we? This Archimedes platform is extremely modular. We're looking at how we can have interchangeable bodies, and then we're looking at interchangeable power units for the electric motors. And we picked this architecture because it means you can power it on any fuel. We could take out the gasoline motor and put in a fuel cell one day when it becomes cost efficient, or put in um, a biodiesel motor that takes grease from restaurants to power your car. Now that we have Archimedes, we're using it as a platform to develop the interfaces for 10 to the 5. 10 to the 5, it's a contest where we're looking at five key substances in a vehicle. These are in every vehicle, but for our vehicle, we want to make them modular so that people can compete and make really cool versions of it. We're going to have 10 teams on each of the five subsystems. That allows 100,000 permutations and every combination of cars would exceed 100 miles per gallon. We're hoping, fingers crossed, that relatively powerful companies will play, that uh, old people in their garage will play, that students will play. We really want to push the boundaries and make a global platform that kind of democratizes innovation and lets everyone participate. And significantly more importantly, come up with ideas you never, ever, ever would think of yourself. That would mean, for example, for body, that one body might be made of carbon, one of Kevlar, one of fiberglass, one of aluminum, one of steel. Uh, coconut fiber, who knows? So the end result would be a vehicle that is ultra-modular. You can pick any body, any suspension, any chassis, any fuel, and any dash, and those pieces will seamlessly snap together. A lot like a Lego car, where you just you snap in the pieces. So we get to take the best of the best and make something cool. We have no idea what their solutions will be, and I think that's part of, it's part of the intrigue and the excitement and the, the story of the project. Um, that we're not trying to be predictive. We're trying to define the space that we want people to fill in, but we're not trying to define the solution.